it's Ashley I'm back and as always on my way to work and today I wanted to talk about Beat Beatrice Dixon who is the founder uh, CEO of Honeypot um, which is like a feminine health products, well, like feminine healthcare products that recently have been selling at Target, which congratulations to Beatrice. Um, it's really great. Um, but what I wanted to talk about besides just giving her congratulations, because that's a big step forward. Um, she did a commercial with Target and me personally, when I started seeing the commercial was last month which was Febu February, which, if you didn't know, was Black History Month. So, I'm not sure if that's when the commercial originally started to air, but that's when I first started to see it, and I really appreciated it. Now, people are flipping out because... Well, I'll insert the video. My name is Beatrice Dixon. I'm the founder of The Honey Pot. In the beginning, it wasn't easy to like start this company. And there was a lot of times that it almost didn't happen. If Target didn't take the chance on us, we wouldn't be in all the retailers that we're in today. But what's really dope is they helped us with the product line, the packaging. They really like changed my life. The reason why it's so important for Honey Pot to do well is so the next black girl that comes up with a great idea, she could have a better opportunity. That means a lot to me. So people are flipping out at the last part where she says, um, now little black girls have like somebody to look up to. And people are flipping out saying that she's racist. <coughs> Which... I don't know what the fuck you're watching or listening to, but that's not true. Let's get over ourselves, first of all, and let me just say, first of all, it's not racism. It's prejudice, if that's what you want to call it, which it's not even that either, because she didn't say anything about black supremacy, blacks, like nothing like that. She is just saying that she's happy to be a role model for other little black girls, okay? When any other race tries to say something like that, nobody gives a fuck. But if black people say it, people flip the fuck out. And now her, um, her reviews and everything are being trashed right now because people are all up in their feelings because they don't feel like a little unique snowflake. And I could give two shits less what any of those people think. And she had great reviews before that happened. And honestly, I'm not surprised. And um, here's somebody that we can see for representation because isn't that what everybody's all about now? Representation. You want to see little kids in wheelchairs, but we can't see a black woman who got her products released at Target because it's racist. Sure, fucking Jan. And that's what pisses me off. Like, did she not say you couldn't use her products? No, she didn't. She said anybody can use her products, but because she's black, she's happy to be a figurehead for some other little girl who dreams or wishes that one day she could come up with a product that could be released at a major retail place. Any business owner's dream most of the time. But it's so fucking funny how people love to try and act like they're suffering or that they're pitiful you're not you're just looking for something to complain about and run your fucking mouth you've always had whatever you wanted everybody else had to fight for to see themselves somewhere okay like get over it 
Are you mad that you're not seeing yourself all the time everywhere? Like it was not that long ago. What, like 20 years ago? Get over it. White people aren't the only people that are in the world. Especially in the United States. Like, get the fuck out of here. We're a melting pot. Get it together. Grow up. And get off your little pedestal that you think you deserve to be on. Because you don't. Okay. So, after hearing about that. Because I heard about it uh, before. Somebody mentioned it in the comments for uh, a post on Instagram, but um, they were talking about Sally's Beauty Company and how they, instead of donating some book bags that they had for some other black owned company, they just were told to cut them up and throw them in the garbage. And in the comments, I heard somebody talking about Honey Pot. And when I heard it, I was like, that sounds so fucking familiar. What? Why does I, why do I feel like I know what they're talking about? And then later that day or yesterday, I seen people were talking about what happened and how her accounts, um, her like reviews and stuff were being trolled by obvious racist people because that's who the real racists are. And I was like, huh. So I followed them on Instagram and then I looked up like some of their products on their website and they have like monthly like pads and tampons and stuff like that and since i don't get a period i'm not that's not something i'm interested in but i did see they have like a feminine wash and i usually use the walmart knockoff brand instead of the uh name brand one and i'm like oh well here's something i can get to support her and mine is running out actually so I'll probably be going to pick that up because we love to support um but I just don't get why everybody is up in arms about this because it's ignorant let's just say that but I'm happy that uh, Beatrice came out yesterday, she said, even though people are trying to trash her reviews and are trying to say she's racist, her business is booming. And that's what we like to see. Talk all your mess on the internet, but guess what? Dollars and support is where it's at. I just want to pop in and say that I will uh, I'm going to insert some screenshots of what people are saying or that I've seen people are saying on Twitter um, and stuff like that anyways if you like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.